my first visual effect tutorial and today we're gonna be making the explosion that completely freezes into super slow motion and it's actually surprisingly simple effect to make and we're gonna be mainly focusing on the flames and how we get them to move in super slow motion and you don't need any super slow motion explosion uh, footage for this. You want to start with having your footage layer which is literally just a still image. As you can see there's a, <laughs> there's a dog right there completely still but it doesn't matter because we will be focusing only on the explosion and I just... So then you want to have your explosion and I have this really crappy looking stock explosion but it's gonna look good after we do the magic and then you wanna have a still frame of the explosion when it's happening so as you can see it appears to stop completely first you wanna put your footage to uh, screen mode so now we have both of them in screen mode you want to start positioning them where you want them to be. So when you got your explosion starting point where you want it to be, uh, you want to scale it up. So because this just looks, well, yeah, terrible. So you want to put keyframes on on the scale. You want to go to the end of the clip. You want to remember to press shift so it keeps the same aspect ratio otherwise it will go like that you will stretch it so shift so now when we have the explosion in place it looks a bit better you wanna go to the last keyframe right here you wanna look at these positions and you want to match them to this so it's in the exact same place so what I just noticed after I matched the position as you can see it's matched it stops I noticed that the explosion is way too slow so I'm gonna speed it up I go to time time stretch and I put it to 30 so it happens much faster. Now I just grab this. And there. To make the still image appear to be moving like flames, you want to go to effect, distort, and take turbulent displays. You want to put the size to about 10. Put keyframes on on evolution. Go to the very end and just increase that a little bit. Let's see how that looks. So, yeah, the evolution is not enough. So, we want to put more. And yeah, also put complexity on 6. Now it looks more like fire. You want to scale the still image, apply keyframes on and scale and position in the first frame, then go to the last frame and scale it up and move it just a bit. Let's see if it looks right. It's rendering. As you can see, we're starting to get somewhere. Now we want to make the explosion look better. Go to stylize and take glow to the explosion. Put the threshold to 100 and radius to 92 looks about right. Then you want to add another glow. Again, threshold to 100 and radius to way more. Yeah, 314 looks about right. 
So now the explosion actually looks like an explosion. And you want to put the same things to this still image. So after you're done with the explosion itself, you want to make it look like it's actually in the room. So add, go to color correction and add metric color to the room. Go to basic correction. Go to the go to the frame where the explosion starts. Right there, actually, want to start it from here, so it's faster. So go to the frame where it, the explosion starts. Put keyframes on temperature and exposure. You want to put the exposure to two and temperature to about fifty. You want to go to couple frames after the explosion uh, freezes you want to put the exposure to to 1 and the temperature to 80 and then you want to go to the last frame and put the temperature to 100 so and also go one frame before that and put both of them to 0 so it's it starts right here. So one last thing you can do is add an adjustment layer on top of the room, add a turbulent displace in the first frame of the adjustment layer, put the amount to 15 and put the keyframes on an evolution. Go to the last frame and have the amount in 5 and the evolution a little bit over 1. So then take the pen tool and draw a mask in the shape of a wave. Like that. Go to masks. Put keyframes on on mask path. Go to the last frame. And move the mask forward a lot. Also I want the adjustment layer shock wave to start a little bit earlier so I made it a little bit longer and moved it right here so it goes like that and then it moves slower also put the mask feather to about 50 so I just noticed that the turbulent displays shockwave looks a bit weird right here if you look at there it kinda has to looks really weird so I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the amount to 10 well actually in the first frame I'm gonna put it to 5 and when the explosion stops put it to 10 so now it's not as much so it looks better so as you can see this wasn't even that complex effect, it's actually really simple to make if you make it with this technique. Of course, if you would have the camera moving in a 3D space, then that would be a whole nother story. So just as after I finished making the effect, I noticed that there are these sparks in the still image. These, and the turbulent displacement affected them obviously too. So to avoid them, just take a side that doesn't have them. For example, this looks pretty perfect. But yeah, in this case, it doesn't matter. You get the idea how to make it. So yeah, don't make the same mistake. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So if you want more of these visual effect tutorials, then just tell me in the comments and also tell me what effects I should make. So yeah, I'll see you next time.